The Afuka script is a syllabary of 56 letters devised in 1910 for the Induka language, an English-based creole of Suriname. The script is named after its inventor, Afuka Atumisi. It continues to be used to write Induka in the 21st century, but the literacy rate in the language for all scripts is under 10%. Afuka is the only script in use that was designed specifically for a creole or for a form of English. It has been proposed for inclusion in the Unicode standard. Topic: <laughs> Typology. Afuka is a defective script. Tone is phonemic but not written. Final consonants the nasal n are not written, but long vowels are, by adding a vowel letter. Prenasalized stops and voiced stops are written with the same letters, and syllables with the vowels u and o are seldom distinguished. The syllables o, u, po, pu, and tu, tu have separate letters, but syllables starting with the consonants b, d, di, f, g, l, m, n, s, y do not. Thus the Afuka rendition of Induka could also be read as Dioka. In four cases syllables with e and i are not distinguished after the consonants l, m, s, w, a single letter is used for both ba and pa, and another for both u and ku. Several consonants have only one glyph assigned to them. These are ti, which only has a glyph for tya, kw, also kp, which only has kwa tilde kpa, ny, which only has nya, though older records report that letter pulled double duty for nyu, and di, which only has dyu, dyo. There are no glyphs assigned specifically to the consonant gw tilde gb. The result of these conflations is that the only syllables for which there is no ambiguity except for tone are those beginning with the consonant t. There is a single punctuation mark, the pipe, which corresponds to a comma or a period. Afuka initially used spaces between words, but not all writers have continued to do so. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The origins of many of the letters are obscure, though several appear to be acrophonic rebuses, with many of these being symbols from Africa. Examples of rebuses include a curl with a dot in it representing a baby in the belly in Induka, a abbey belly, lit. She has belly, means, she's pregnant, and which stands for b, two hands outstretched to give stand for gi, symbols for come in Duka kom and go to represent ko and go. Two linked circles for we stand for y, while u is an inversion of me, corresponding to the pronouns you and me. Letters like Roman numerals 2 and 4 are 2 and fo, ka and pi are said to represent feces in duka kaka and urine pc. A plus sign stands for ne, from the word name, derived from the practice of signing one's name with an x. The odd conflation of u and ku is due to the letter being a pair of hooks, which is uku in induka. The only letters which appear to correspond to the Latin alphabet are the vowels a, o, and maybe e, though o is justified as the shape of the mouth when pronouncing it. Variants and syllabic order Texts in Afaka's own hand show significant variation in the letters. A good number are rotated a quarter turn, and sometimes inverted as well, these are B, D, D, Y, O, Phi, Ga, G, E, Yi, Ni, N, Y, A, Pu, Se, So, Te, and Tu. While Lo, Ba, Pa, and Wa may be in mirror image and Sa, to may be simply inverted. Others have curved versus angular variants, Du, F, A, G, E, Go, Ko, and K, W, A. In yet others, the variants appear to reflect differences in stroke order. The traditional mnemonic order, alphabetic order may partially reflect the origins of some of the signs. For example, tu and fo, two, and four, respectively, you and me, you, and me, and ko and go, come, and go, are placed near each other. Other syllables are placed near each other to spell out words, futu, foot, odi, hello, and ati, heart. Or even phrases, a moke untaki, it gives us speech. Masa gato te baka ben yi, Lord God, that the white man heard. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Sample text. 
This is apparently the first letter written by Afuka. It was copied into the Patili Malosi Buku c. 1917. Oh my God, my Lord, I start with the words on the paper that you've given Afuka. But I'm deathly ill. How can I say it? I went to Paramaribo, Lands Hospital, two times. Because I have no money, they chased me away. They say I must first earn money before I go to the hospital. Therefore I pray to the Lord God that he will give me a hand with the medicine for my illness. But I will talk to Abina. He will bring this to the priest of the Induka. So as the father says it is good for us. But I have pain in my head. All my nose is rotting from the inside, I tell you. So I have no rest, I tell you. <laughs> Notes <laughs>